Hi, welcome to the third part of my Syslogangy tutorial. Today we will cover uh, various uh, Syslogangy editions, open source, commercial and appliance, and uh, where to get them from. The focus of this tutorial series is the open source edition, or OSE for so short, uh, but to uh, avoid confusion, I also briefly introduce the other two. Last time I asked you which uh, do you think is the most used SyslogNG version. Uh, it's a tricky question. I learned by accident that the Amazon uh, Kindle ebook reader runs an ancient version, version 1.6 of SyslogNG. As there are hundreds of millions of Kindle devices, version 1.6 is the most widespread version of SyslogNG. Some of our commercial customers might uh, now uh, wonder, wonder uh, why I mentioned an ac accidental discovery and how uh, widely used SyslogNG became due to this single deal. The explanation is simple. SyslogNG uh, also has an open source version. Actually, SyslogNG started as an open source project um, and commercial editions uh, started almost a dec decade later. There are three SyslogNG editions. SyslogNG Open Source Edition, OSE, is a command line uh, application used by hundreds of uh, thousands of people knowingly and hundreds of millions of people without knowing about it. Uh, open Source Edition is the focus of this tutorial. SyslogNG Premium Edition uh, is uh, still a command line application, but with commercial support. This application is not the focus of this uh, tutorial, but most of this tutorial also applies to PE. Uh, SyslogNG Storebox or SSB is a commercial appliance. Uh, you cannot edit the configuration directly, so this tutorial does not apply to SSB at all. The focus of this tutorial uh, is uh, SyslogNG Open Source Edition. Open source users uh, simply refer, refer to it as SyslogNG. Commercial customers and some of my colleagues refer to it uh, as OSE or SyslogNG uh, Open Source Edition. This is why uh, the Twitter uh, handle is co called SNG o uh, SNG OSE. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, SyslogNG uh, Open Source Edition is uh, simply called SyslogNG. Uh, this is where uh, most of SyslogNG development is done. The source code and uh, the issue tracking system are available on GitHub. It includes quite a few experimental features contributed by users from around the world. SyslogNG is um, part of most Linux distributions and BSD variants and compiles on most other Unix and Unix-like platforms as is or with minimal modifications. Uh, SyslogNG Open Source Edition is supported by the community. You can learn more about uh, SyslogNG OSE uh, on the SyslogNG website or on GitHub. Uh, SyslogNG Premium Edition, or PE, is not the focus of this tutorial series, but uh, it is also a common line application, and most examples of this tutorial uh, also work with PE. Commercial customers usually call SyslogNG PE simply as SyslogNG. Only those who use both editions tend to use the SyslogNG PE or Premium Edition name. Uh, SyslogNG PE is built uh, on top of uh, the SyslogNG Open Source Edition source code. However, uh, it only includes well-tested features and uh, the experimental features are left out. There are also some uh, Premium Edition exclusive features uh, related to uh, cloud and compliance. Unlike the Open Source Edition, the Premium, premium Edition uh, receives enterprise support from one identity. Uh, you can contact one identity sales for more information. You can uh, reach them through the SyslogNG website. Uh, 
this tutorial does not uh, apply uh, to the uh, Cisco Gangi store box or short, in short SSB at all. Uh, it is an appliance and you cannot edit the configuration directly. Its users often call SSB as Cisco NG appliance. Uh, it is built on top of Cisco NG PE and provides a full life cycle, uh, log life cycle management using an easy to use graphical user interface and powerful search possibilities. Many PE features are implemented in SSB in a simplified manner. Uh, what it means that uh, it does not allow such fine-grained configuration as uh, Cisco Gen.G premium, premium Edition. However, uh, once you turn on the appliance, it is ready to collect log messages uh, within just a few minutes. Just, at the, just as the Premium Edition, uh, Cisco Gen.G Storebox receives enterprise support from One Identity. You can contact One Identity Sales for more information. You can reach them through the Cisco NG website. Now uh, that we learned about the various editions of Cisco NG, uh, we can uh, switch back to referring to Cisco NG open source edition as simply Cisco NG. Cisco NG is part of most Linux distributions and BSD variants. It is also available. Uh, available in various package collections and commercial uh, for commercial Unix uh, variants, and it is also heading to macOS Homebrew. However, uh, these packages are often old and their feature set is limited. Luckily, up-to-date unofficial packages are uh, available uh, for some of the popular Linux distributions. If you want to run uh, SysLogNG in a container, you are also uh, covered at least uh, in a 64-bit Intel environment. Uh, you can also build SyslogNG uh, from the source yourself. SyslogNG sources contain a mini build system which you can use to build the uh, SyslogNG release storeball uh, in a containerized environment or uh, you can build packages for a few uh, Linux distributions uh, from git snapshots. This helps you to test new features and bug fixes. Uh, getting the right feature set when installing SyslogNG is not always easy. In most Linux distributions, SyslogNG is packaged in a mod modular way. There is a base package which contains only features that do not have, do not have extra dependencies, and there are many sub-packages which contain modules that pull in uh, additional packages. This way, all SyslogNG features can be made uh, available without pulling in hundreds of megabytes of dependencies. In most RPM distributions, the SyslogNG core package is called SyslogNG. It contains all uh, features and dependencies necessary uh, for the default SyslogNG configuration, so it also includes JSON. Use the package manager on your uh, system to list additional SyslogNG packages for modules. These are called SyslogNG module name. In most uh, uh, deep Debian distributions, the SyslogNG core package is called uh, SyslogNG core. Uh, SyslogNG uh, the SyslogNG package installed installs all sub packages and their de dependencies. Sub packages are usually called SyslogNG mod module name. Uh, FreeBSD has uh, SyslogNG in the ports collection. Uh, there are also ready to use binary packages built from ports. These packages are built with JSON and HTTP support so they can forward logs to Elasticsearch and various cloud services. You can also compile your choice of uh, features when you build SyslogNG from uh, ports. Next time we will work with SyslogNG using a very basic config configuration. Make sure that you have uh, SyslogNG installed on your choice of operating system. And also make sure that JSON and HTTP support is also installed. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on YouTube or uh, reach out to me on Twitter or Mastodon.